Yo, here we are. Look at that. So, parked at the top of Ender Lime, walking down these steps, about 114 steps to get down. So, if you find something good, it's a bit of a bit of a killer to get back up, but it's all right. Exercise, isn't it? So yeah, um, gonna go down on the beach. The tide's on its way out. It's a really low tide today. Just see what we can find. It's gonna be good. To be honest, I did find something uh, the other day. I found a really nice fossil the other day, but I didn't have my camera kit. So I'll show you that when we get home and we'll prep that. It's gonna be a pretty quick prep job, but it's gonna be really nice. So uh, get on with that. But look at that view. gonna be a scorcher anyway i'm gonna get down there um but yeah i'll point stuff out uh, we'll whack some rocks it'll be a good day and them birds In doubt, give it a clap. Bubbles, oh, wet. No, anyway, I mean, that's cool. Oh, yeah.
Get on for low tide there. Phil, yeah, he's recording. It's getting on for low tide. So I'm gonna gather water around and check the ledges. I've not got much time left, so I might see if I can uh, wrangle a lobster. Um, got one last time it was this low. A few little nooks and crannies. So if we can get tea as well. Look for fossils get some tea they're quite nice but look at this it's absolutely stunning what a gorgeous day I reckon I should have put sun cream on you know see these ledges so I'll check in between the bits that aren't sandy and walk these and just look for bits of bone and stuff yeah let's go and uh, let's go and try and find something Anyway, I just, it's just footage of me walking with, you know, looking at my feet, so it's not that interesting. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll sign off. Hopefully I get something nice. Found so many different types of crab. We've got this bad boy here. And we've got little baby squat lobster. There you go, look. Oh. Hopping along. really cute and this one as well like a decorator spider crab which is pretty cool hairy crab here hairy crab a little aggressive velvet swimmer kind of rock pulling it's a wet back side there right can't be too long I'm just gonna check this ledge here See if we can find a lobster. There's no lobster. I ain't found a lobster. I found a lobster once till I you know, think I met an expert, but I'm not. But uh, there's so many of these beautiful, you know, you see them all right. Beautiful little squat lobsters, hundreds of them. They're so cute. Those are little baby ones. I'm going to put him back in the pool there. Uh, see him. Really, really cool. Get my finger, mate. They're all upside down. Not dead, are they? There you go. Yeah, anyway, I've got a ways to go. I've got to get back up there. I'm going to go and change my shoes and all before I go pick the girls up. Otherwise, I'll be squelching all the way up to school. Bit of nature for you. Just gorgeous. There's a little fish scooting about. Yeah, anyway, quite a few people out today. A lot of the pro guys all there on the ledges looking for looking for stuff. You see them look walking heads down. But yeah. Right, are you looking for it for yourselves, Dan? Nah, I'm looking for lobsters. <sighs> nah, always on the look at, always on the look at.
a bit of a trek for not very much at all. A few little baby ammonites. But I did get something, I know I rocked on about it earlier on, but I got something really special uh, the other day. And uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go cut to the workshop, I think. Show you that. But yeah, maybe a bit of music. I don't know. Slow, panning over it. But yeah, anyway, see you later. So I just got in the workshop. It was a good day today. It's an absolute state. Um, I've not been in in ages. <sighs> Look at this. I've got a, a mouldy thing. I've got my jigsaw for this bit. Um, I'm just going to put that to one side because I've got something quite special to show you. So what I'm going to do is tidy up this mess, have a hoover, and then crack on uh, and show you the nice block that I found the other day when I didn't have my camera, uh, which kind of makes up for today's poor showing. So yeah, gives a sec. I'm going to go and get Henry. He's he's really not liking that. Um, Henry's a bit beefier, isn't he? Whoa! Now that's an Uber. It's a proper. That's an Henry Uber. Made in chard. That's gonna suck some stuff up. So yeah, crack on with that bad boy now. Well, semi tidy. I've got a tidy workspace anyway. I oh, can I just put loads of grease on it? It's better. Uh, greasy forehead. So yeah, I've got this. I've got a nice space now to work. Uh, I'll go and get that fossil so you can see it. But I am going to sort this out. I've got to get rid of my surfboard. I've got to actually finish it, sand it all down, and fiberglass it. I've got to do that. That extractor is going in the garage next door and I'm going to plumb it all through so I gain all that space it's just a beast I mean it's a good extractor it's a really good extractor but it's massive there's no need to be it's like it takes a part of your workshop so I'm going to build a new cabinet because that one's absolutely shot um, just make it nice nice benches all the nice I've got no that's my workspace that and I've got some big stuff to work on and uh, yeah it's just get some uh, four befores and some three by twos and a, a grubbly jib, uh, jib nuts and uh, yeah be able to sort it all out I know what I'm going on about I'm dead good at that sort of stuff you wouldn't think I used to be a, a DT teacher would you <sighs> anyway uh, yeah I'll go and grab that fossil we'll have a look see what we've got and let's get prepping it let's get started I've got my music time lapse it boom bit of a haze outdoors recommendation northern monk i've had one before and uh chocolate caramel biscuit porter yeah put says on your chest it's dead nice i would try it out can't even open it. I ain't got no nails. Bite me nails. Got no nails. Come on. There you go. It's a can opener and off. Who needs a can to open a can with a chisel? I got no nails. Look at the colour of that. Oh, it doesn't like it. Looks like. Oh mate, that's awesome. That's such a, a good tipple. Got a bit sidetracked there. Cheers for the recommendation, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hayes. Uh, it's good. Anyway, I'm cracking on. Let's go for it. Boom!
mark on it again all right so this is what we've got sort of starting to see the verts coming out but one two three four five six no large I've clipped that one there tiny tiny bit just a few mil there's a vert on its on its side there that's looks like most of it's three you know three quarters of it's there it's like it's gonna be a broken bit with the with the neural arches. Ah! Not bad for a rock pooling session with kids. That free pick me up off the beach. Yeah, just, just a nothing like five two hundred million year old ichthyosaur vertebra. Yeah, yeah, as you do. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, obviously, it's not finished. Um, obviously, it's not finished gonna have a beer and then uh, yeah it's clear it's gonna be look it's going right there duk, 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 on the tops there to be honest it's cleaning really nice um, it's got like a powdery coating over the top so I think I reckon dolomite I'll have to turn it right right down what well, I might whack some um, bicarbonate soda in my abrasive unit just so it's super soft because i don't want it damaging the bone i don't want to like get because it's got some really nice i don't know if you can see it you probably can't but on there some really nice bone <laughs> detail is it's crisp it's really nice anyway um yeah i've had enough for tonight it's late i'm gonna sit here have a beer listen to some music and then uh get in <laughs> New day, um, yeah I went in early last night, my battery ran out so I've charged them up. Just started doing a bit of a clean up, putting a nice soft box up there so I've got a bit of a better area to work today. Clearing this desk, check out this. You ready? You can't see the size on it. It's massive, so I'm gonna have to Uber him up. I'll not kill him, honestly. I'll, I'll catch him in a cup and put him out. I won't Uber him up, just to be, you know. But anyway, so uh, what I've got, uh, we started working on this bone block. We're getting these neural arches out. You can't really see them yet because they're covered in like uh, just some soft rock. There's like a layer of soft rock in between the bone. And the uh, and the harder rock, and it's really nice. It's just popping off. It's it's cleaning really well. Should have it done today. So I'm going to clean. Well, basically, what I want to do is clear this desk, get rid of that. So I've just got some space to work. I just need my space and uh, get all this rubbish sorted out. And just if I don't need it, it's going in the garage. Like all that up there, don't need that up there. Going in the garage. So um, yeah. Just make myself some some room. Maybe give it a lick of paint later as well. Might go for a blue seascape. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we we'll crack on with that. I'm gonna tidy this up first. Then I'm gonna crack on with it. And uh, yeah, I'll do a bit of time lapse and stuff. Um, and uh, see how the abrasive works with it. So yeah, game on. Doo -doo. Spiders going.
those neural arches out there. Use the abrasive, air abrasive, Comco machine. Air abrasive, Comco machine with uh, dolomite and turn right down as well. Uh, this, this stuff in between, it's really soft. This is pretty, pretty hard, but around it, it's like there's like a soft layer and it just cleans up so nicely. So just, you can see there as well, it's really difficult to hold a piece. Uh, yeah, let me stand it up. There we go. So, so what we've got is I found the tops there of the vertebra that's there, it's sort of twisted round twisted around like that and that those two attachments there are where the neural arch attaches there and there so basically what I'll get on this is these neural arches these will be like free floating and then I'll get it down to the the one underneath so it'll look quite nice I don't know what's going off up here there's some bits of bone sticking out of the back as well there's a, there's a bit of bone here don't know what that is it's kind of arching around so there might be a few other bits under there it's got to be really delicate and careful as I go in um, but yeah it should be quite nice it's a shame it's so water worn here but I think that makes up for it it's yeah I'm quite happy it's a shame it's not a beastie like this you, know, you can imagine neural arch of that you know how many we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine like twelve of them do you know what I mean? It's not, not as big a creature, but yeah, I'm happy. Woo! Right, get some more penning done, I think. I tried to, to film some of the uh, abrasive, but the fluorescent light in there is a bit weird. It sort of makes the video look a bit odd. So if you, if you know any workarounds from that, just let me know. Um, probably just put get a new light down that'll probably be uh, probably be it but yeah I have cleaned it all up cleaned well, all that rubbish is gone massive spider's gone love that Nautilus it's nice it's a Bellum Knight Mall's Nautilus that one it's good got me uh, my ashtray Yeah, so now uh, got my music as well. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I think not. I can actually stand. Yeah. Like banging into stuff, tripping over stuff. It's nice. So I put that soft box up there as well. Probably already said that. I forgot what I filmed there. Anyway, time lapse. Boom. I've got the uh, the goblins coming back in a minute so I'm going to get in and uh, have a shower before they get back but it's looking all right getting those neural arches out it's looking pretty sweet um, this one here start, uh, got a little crack in it and you can see where they smashed a bit 
So what I did is um, use some really thin super glue and a bit of accelerator spray. But what you do is I like to use one of these. So you use a little um, cocktail stick, put it on the cocktail stick and you can sort of pinpoint exactly where you want, want it to go. And because it's so thin, it works like capillary cap cap works like a <laughs> capillary action hello capillary action and uh yeah and then you wipe it off i've got a microfiber cloth that's ditched just wipe it off uh, get as much of that excess off it before you accelerate it otherwise you'll end up with a, a, a film over your whatever you you glue in so yeah this is looking quite nice i'm quite impressed this one looks quite cool getting these are um this one, these here, these bits of bone, I think because looking at it, how it's sort of twisted round, I think the other verts would have been here and the, the other verts would have been in this section here and they're, they're the tops of these neural arches. So I don't think there's got to be much, I think apart from that and a few bits of bone. There's a tiny bit of bone here, a little random bit, but I think that's probably one of these snapped off at the top, displaced, but yeah get in there I'll have it done tonight I'll get back in I'll, I'll go in have a bit of time with the kidlets and then I'll come back out but yeah I'm happy I've got a clean workshop first time in ages um, and yeah I've got a nice bone bit I love ichthyosaurs I want to find a plesiosaur that's what I want anyway all right we'll get a shower Right, fossil geeks, let's get on it. This is what we're gonna get finished tonight. I think I'm on like day three now. I'm gonna put all these together in a video. Well, you're gonna be watching it, so you're gonna know it's all together. So, but yeah, I've got some uh, beverages. Got a nice clean workshop, bit of dust there, but it's all right. Um, and yeah, let's crack on. Another neural, neural arch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And so the tops there are coming out. Like a little worm tube, some worm tubes here. It's looking nice though. It would look nice when I've took it down to here and just got under these a bit. So it's sort of sat on the rock quite nice. Yeah. Not much left to do really, just get these last neural arches, clean it up, smooth it off, uh, smooth it off with a pen and then cut all these in and take it around and get just under these a bit. These are getting quite fragile now and there's a bit of rock popped off there and these are really thin so you've got to be stupidly careful when you get to the tops of them. So you're going to have to cut them in. And I'm just a bit worried about penning up. 
when you get like a crack or these cracks in the rocks as you pen in it makes like a bit of a it'll like be going it'll go and it like you, you'll you'll hear the tone change on the rock me and james were talking about it the other day on his doorstep but yeah i'm happy with that not a bad not a bad little find but yeah but yeah sorry if this video is a bit long as well but um, it's been quite a bit of work. I don't know, I think I'll go for longer videos. Longer videos. So the thing is, like, the amount of time it takes me, and then I make loads of videos, and, like, and then I get lost. I'm like, which, which, bit, which bit am I on? Have I, did I film that? Or, you know, and it's just like, I like this because it's a video, start to finish, boom, I've got it done. Anyway, it's looking good. Crack on. Getting a bit drunk. Uh, yeah, I think I'm drunk a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It is getting late and I'll be up at six o'clock. So I'm gonna go in. Disney Plus, Winter Soldier, Friday, boom! I'm gonna go and do that, and then I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna come back in tomorrow morning. It's gonna have to be a longer video. Right, new night. Um, we're gonna uh, just, just crack on with it, try and get it finished. I do realize that I hold the camera down I hold the camera down quite a lot. It's not flattering, it's not very flattering. That's like seeing up my nose. <clears throat> anyway, go for it. that little bit of pen work there uh, we've roughed out you can sort of see I've roughed out these so we've not touched them at all just got really close to them just so I can now use the air abrasive so now I can just use the air abrasive to sort of uh, get these out and then basically it's air abrasive a bit of pen in on the thicker bits here uh, and a bit more this thing is like when it gets like this you know getting the pen in there it's really difficult you know so yeah that'll be aerobraid 
air braid these bits out the middle and then smooth that off and then that should be just about done oh and that, the bit underneath as well so yeah it should be done tonight hopefully jeepers terrible but yeah i'm happy with it it's a nice bit of bone but yeah let's get on with it <laughs> i don't know all this is I don't, know, I don't even know what that is. I didn't do too much filming with me abrasive when I was doing the abrasive, but sort of getting there, you know, cutting into these, making them, making them a bit more 3D. So cutting in the, uh, making them a bit more 3D, cutting in these little sections, on these neural arches and I've got now exposed the rest of those neural arches so it's a case now we're smoothing this off and just getting rid of some of this rock around here and getting rid of some of this rock in like along this section here of the abrasive but yeah another few hours and I think um, I think it'll be all right so I'm gonna crack on now and smooth this bit off um, I think what I'll do is I'll smooth this bit off and then cut in the tops like this again, just to make it stand out. I don't want to go behind those neural arches too much with the air abrasive, I don't want to undercut them just because they'll be way too, um, way too fragile. So, and they, they look beautiful, they look really nice. I could go down and try and get the rock out from underneath all these neural arches on the top which might be a nice idea it might make it look good but a lot of these neural arches you can see are fractured like sort of see the lines through through these sections especially there look see the how uh, the fractures so if i if i undercut those you know a few of them look solid like this one here looks solid and this one those only those two all the rest are fractured so if i undercut those two oh they look dead nice undercut all the rest and they fall off so not fall off you know there's a good chance that they're, they're going to fall off so i'd rather get as, rid of as much rock as i can under here just to make it pop a bit and then leave them more stable um that's me thinking that's me thinking i'm gonna have another beer smooth this off uh and then i'll show you what the finished product looks like and i'm happy it's good so this vid hopefully it should be start to finish and i think i'll do that more often now i'll try and get a piece and in one video make longer videos and just sort of do it from start to finish so you're not like oh when's it next one coming out because he's rubbish at uploading stuff but yeah i've got this vert as well this one oh, i love that one as well <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, as well, um, I am um, with... As well, I'm working on my website at the moment. So I am going to be doing walks. Um, hopefully, um, uh, my wife talked to Wes down at uh, Lime Brewery. So hopefully I might be running some walks out of the brewery, um, which will be awesome it means we can drink as well after before i don't know during be awesome uh but no so we'll be running walks so you'll be able to book on uh, a walk uh, and you'll be able to get all the details on the website uh, it's not live yet i'm still building it um and i'm gonna have the shop as well so pieces like this i'm gonna be i'm gonna put those up for sale because uh, i need some new equipment so any all the fossils i'm cleaning at the moment are to go onto my website so you can buy them um if you like them uh and yeah so that's 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 the sort of plan that's what i'm doing so yeah i'm gonna have some like artwork that i do as well i do a lot of lino cut lino prints uh sort of fossil themed stuff really um it's fossil themed and sort of sea themed to do a lot of fish and stuff like that uh, lino cuts so yeah but yeah anyway uh, i'm gonna crack on uh, get this done and then we can wrap this video up sweet
had a good session. So, do you know what? I think it's almost it's almost complete. I've started getting dug down a bit there. Started leveling this section off here and getting under those and this little bit here as well. And I've sort of hit the tops of these as well just to sort of make them stand a slightly proud. They're, they're a bit thicker than I thought actually. So yeah. Ooh. Not bad. Three nights work. But yeah, so thanks for sticking with me. It is late and I'm a bit tipsy. But yeah, well, I'm gonna get me out. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get in, get some sleep. Uh, I'd say, there's only about another half an hour on there and I've just had enough so next time you see that one it'll probably be on the shop uh, but yeah I'm happy with it it's a nice looking piece yeah um, uh, yeah it's good it came out nice that one so yeah like I say I should script this really I always forget what I'm saying and then just repeat myself editing's a nightmare um, but yeah thanks for sticking with me if you like what you see and you want to see more fossil prep i'm going to try it on my production as well but yeah uh so press that subscribe button really helps the channel out i'm almost at a thousand which is nothing in uh youtube it's not in youtube uh circles is it really but it means a lot to me it's nice it's grown nice and organic i don't even know what i'm talking about anyway like it <laughs> subscribe <laughs> nah i don't know what to do just buy i'm just gonna sit here it's a bit awkward isn't it